Hello and welcome to our first impressions video brought to you by MMO Play. Today we're taking a look at a free-to-play shooter called Double Action Boogaloo. This is an interesting take on a shooter in that it's not just going to be a Call of Duty where you're trying to be just a modern military shooter and trying to get kills and just chains of impressive numbers. No, this is all about looking cool while you do it. We're looking at the settings menu. Very, very basic, but it does have options. Also, this is a third-person shooter, not a first-person, so we don't have to worry about things like FOV. Let's go ahead and check out the game uh, booting screen. This is multiplayer only, and it is competitive. Also, there are objectives in the matches. So, we have three available agents. Free-to-play game, there might be microtransactions that unlock more, and then I can go ahead and choose my loadout. So I could have given my guy different weapons, and also when you die, you do drop your weapon, so someone else will go pick it up. And this is available on Steam, so we're going to load up the next match. That one had just ended. Worst luck ever. So I can choose between these guys again. I'm going to take 8-ball. And... Da, 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 da. Let's go with the shotgun. Shotties always seem like they're a good start. And then you can take your different style. So these will give you different passive perks. So you run around, third person shooter. The controls are weird. Shift is not sprint. R and right click is not zoom. In fact, shift is zoom, right click is dash. And dash is important. You can see that it looks ridiculous. There's a reason for that. When you do incredible kills where you're diving, doing it could be matrix type moves, you get bonuses. Like that. If he kills me like that, it would give him a much bigger score if he just goes ahead and shoots. So, let's go to the point where I actually learn what I'm doing and not just trying to play this like any other shooter. Alright, we fast forward a little bit and got a new weapon. Gonna go check out one of the objectives. It does give you score. So there we go, you can see I dive forward. You can space to jump and then right click to dive. It does give you a lot more points if you do kind of cool maneuvers like that while you're shooting. Also, you can see I can occasionally get a little bit of a time boost. It'll slow everyone else down. So right now I have one second. If I use that ability, it will give me one, two seconds to get another kill. Two seconds of slowing everyone else down so I can get some kind of spectacular shot off or just actually downright kill somebody. Also, the dive forward does make it a little bit harder to hit sometimes. There we go. I'm getting a bit of a kill streak going here. Got three seconds on my uh, activate. C will activate it. G, unfortunately, is not a grenade, and it shows grenades at some point. You can see towards the bottom right, I have not figured how to throw them. If you hit G, you chuck your weapon, which. It's not necessarily a bad thing because you can melee, and at melee range, you you hit hard. Like, you can see he just punched me and then, well, shot me real quick. I'm still in the lead though, so... Got my Stallion 45, my Brawl, and then my Vindicator weapon. It, the loadouts use a system similar to strategy games like Warhammer, where they assign them a point value, you get a finite number of points you can equip, and then... That's like five guns worth 35, I'll, and I, I 50 is your maximum. I only have 15 left, so I can't just equip two of the best weapons. I have to equip maybe a good weapon and a pistol. And dive backwards, try to avoid getting hit. Looks like I'm really low on life, so yeah, eh, figured that would happen. Other than that, it's just ridiculous combat and just messing around, with fun and. You can see, I mean, you, you can play traditionally. I come up to this window, I zoom in, take some pot shots. But it's fairly fast-paced, and again, these these are not worth that many points. You can see Big Lebrowski is now in the lead because he's doing more... He's, he, he's doing cooler kills. Look at the game, check it out. It's available for free on Steam. Click the content, save two more from MMO Play. Thanks for watching. I just looked like I just did a skateboard grind on that window, or that ledge.